Hello everyone. Welcome to the next lecture on the probability and statistics. Today we will discuss about the characteristics function of Cauchy distribution. Myself, Dr. Gar. You can simply follow my YouTube channel, Dr. Harish Gar, for finding the various videos on the probability. Else, follow my Telegram channel link is the barcode of this. So, what is the Cauchy distribution? Is firstly we will discuss about its brief history. The Cauchy distribution is firstly defined by Aston Cauchy. He is born in the Paris in 1789. this cauchy distribution is a continuous distribution function in most of the cases this cauchy distribution is also called as the lorentz distribution because of this famous person called as the m hankins uh, rogers are there it is also called as a cauchy lorentz distribution or the lorentz function so it is widely popular in the physics side are there this cauchy distribution is the canonical example of the pathological distribution what is the meaning of the pathological distribution the function whose mean and variances are undefined so this cauchy distribution has no mean and its no variances are there this is the probability density function of the cauchy distribution there are the two unknown parameter called as the x0 and second one is a gamma where x0 is defined as the location parameter or called as the shape parameter defined as the peak of the distribution and the gamma is called as the scale parameter if you draw the p uh, probability density function of this cauchy distribution then we will see like here clearly say that this yellow color will say location is my zero and this scale parameter is a, a smallest one that is a 0.5 and the peak will be high similarly for this green color and this blue color will shows that gamma is my 1 and 2 and similarly for this blue color you can see there is a wider width as compared to the other one so that define the a parameter impact of the scale as well as the location if we set the particular parameter as the location as a gamma, a gamma as a 1 and the location x node as a 0 in this distribution then we will see the pdf of this cauchy distribution as here now our target is to find the characteristics function of this cauchy distribution what is the characteristics function is characteristics function of any random variable x is denoted as a phi which is defined as expected value of the e raised to power iota t x if you have a discrete random variable then we can write this expected value as a summation where px is the probability mass function of this random variable x on the other hand if you have the continuous random variable then instead of this summation you have to write this integration now our target is to write the characteristics function of this probability density function f of x so as per the definition of the characteristics function we can write like this we can substitute the value of the f of x from here 1 by pi is a constant which can be taken outside b now the major thing arises is how you can solve this integration because of this exponential and there are so many singularities are there because it's a complex part so clearly says that how many singularities are there it is my plus minus of iota so it means you have to apply the complex analysis theory the first method is you can use the residue theorem of the complex analysis like of this which can be integrate like this but once you are apply the residue theorem it means you have the vast knowledge about the complex analysis but those student who are unable to remember the complex analysis in that case this integration or this theory will not be work for you then we have to apply the second method which is quite easier as compared to this first method which is here we can consider any of the function f of t as here then we can apply the fourier transform is there so we can compute the fourier transform of this function f of t and then we can find the characteristics function from here how we can see so i can substitute the value of the f of t that's a fourier transform here now it is a mod of t so we can break this integration into two parts from minus infinity to zero and zero to infinity when it's a minus infinity to zero it's this mod of t is my negative so it's a minus minus plus and so we can take the pair here now how you can integrate them so it's a exponential part you can easily integrate which is here when you substitute zero the answer will be one over this when you substitute minus infinity it will be my zero similarly for this part when you substitute infinity it will be zero minus when you substitute zero it will be one over something so you can see it's a minus minus plus and here now if you take the lcm you will get this part so if you closely look about that it is much similar to this part now here we have taken the fourier transform now you can find the function value our target is to find the function so we can take the inverse transformation of the f of x which is written here 
I can substitute the value of the fx. What is the fx? Is Fourier transform of the here. So this is my Fourier transform. I can substitute this value as a here. I can take one by two pi outside. So if you comp or you can say it's uh, two will be cancelled out. And if you compare them, if you compare them, it's a one by pi is present. E raised to power iota t x is present. A is extra, so I can take it on the left hand side. So you can see this part is completely observed from here. So what is the difference between them is if you simply take a is my one, then you can say this portion and this portion are similar. So if you take a is equal to one, so this portion is nothing but my here. What is that? If you compare this equation number one, if I write this is equation number one with here, this is nothing but my characteristic function of this Cauchy distribution. So this is the simplest way you can solve this Cauchy distribution characteristic function instead of any of the complex analysis residue theorem. I hope you can simply learn this simple trick from this video. If you find some another video like testing of the hypothesis, consistent estimator, grammar or Newman principle MR, you can simply follow my channel name Dr. Harishkar and so on. I hope you can like, share and comment this video. You can share with your friends. Best of luck students. Happy learning. Thank you.